Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to revisit our experiment that we started back in the early spring growing peonies. And if you're new here to the channel, just very recently started watching my videos, then you likely haven't seen the first parts of this experiment because this is a plant that I am trying to learn how to grow and I, I don't know how to grow it. I don't know what the best way to grow it is. And I'm talking about growing it for nursery production, not just what's the best way to have a pretty plant at my house. I'm really not that concerned with that. So I started an experiment with some peony roots back in the spring. Here's a kind of look at what they look like when I got them. And I will link the videos right up here to these peonies experiments. But anyway, kind of a three or four part series here. But anyway, my goal was to ask the question, do peonies grow better for nursery production in a pot or in the ground? So I planted some in pots and I planted some in the ground. We're gonna go dig some of those today, see how they look, pot them up, and by next spring, we will have a good conclusion to this video. But today we're gonna look at the next step in the process, kind of see where we are and we'll go from there. I potted about 20 or 25 of these, I don't remember, in my pots. And this is just three of them here. And these are Carl Rosenfeld peonies, which is a bright red blooming variety. And this is just an example of what they look like with these three. These aren't necessarily the best or the worst looking ones, but it's just a, an example of what has happened with these since I potted them. And I realize these look really ugly, but this is just what happens with peonies through the season. If you look around your neighborhood, look around your area where peonies are grown, they all look about like this this time of year. They're really a spring to early summer plant. So Anyway, this is what we've done with them so far, how they've grown, and all I did was potted them in, I don't know, February or March, whenever it was, and they've just sat in their pots all summer to this time and to this amount of growth. Now this is my bed of peonies. I had some in pots and also planted some in a bed here, and you can see the way, kind of get some weeds out of here, kind of the way that these look, and a couple of things worth mentioning here. First is these in the bed, of course this might be the tallest one out here, but it is about 14 inches tall, maybe 15 inches tall. Uh, some of these others that look nice are about 14 inches tall. On average, they're probably a little bit shorter than that. They're probably an average of about 12 inches tall. And in my pots, we have some over here that are 10 or 11 inches tall, maybe 11 inches, and this one maybe 15 or 16 inches tall in this pot. So I'm just gonna say that there's not a noticeable difference overall and on average between what has happened in this one season with the ones in the pots and the ones in the bed. So in one season of flushing out, I'm just gonna say that they look about the same. I think the, the difference, if there is a difference, which time will tell for sure, but the difference will be, I'm gonna dig all of these up and pot them now. We still have a little bit of time left in our growing season this year, it's mid-September. I think the difference is gonna be seen when we dig these out of the ground, and I wanna have a look at their roots and compare their roots to these in pots, but when we dig these out and repot them, and then how are they gonna grow out next spring? That's what I really can't wait to see. So today I'm gonna to dig these, have a look at their roots, see how they are, and get them potted, and we'll continue with our experiment. One thing that I've noticed on this bed of peonies is the ones down there on that end, a whole bunch of them died, and I'm gonna say probably eight to 10 of them died down there, and toward this end of the bed, very few if any died, and I don't know why that is. It probably has more to do with the bed than anything else. It's not the plants, but thought that'd be worth pointing out. But I'm gonna dig one of these and see how it looks and see how its roots look and just compare it to one in a pot. And let's just kind of see what we have here. Pretty hard ground here. This is definitely not great soil to be potting to be planting in i never planted anything here in this bed before uh, on my first video i just kind of showed you how i built it and i built it and you know off we went so there we go it popped loose there i think let's see you know, what we got and let's shake this loose that's pretty nice root system okay so this is my first experiment my first experience with peonies and a couple of things that i see first of all that's a really nice looking root mass and it was nowhere near that big last spring when I planted these. But what we see is next year's growth. So what will be next year's stems, you can see those right here. These grow much like a hosta grows and there's more. So we can already see that we have next year's growth 
in place. So that's good to see. This is a these plants are tubers like a hosta or like a bleeding heart or something like that. And it speaks about these roots right here. An herbaceous perennial, which just means these will die back to the ground over winter. They'll completely disappear and they'll regenerate from the ground next spring. So I'm really pleased with what I see in this one. So let's move on and check out another one. So now I've dug out another one of these out of the ground and I've got two and you can kind of see what the roots look like. I'm really pleased with both of them. I think they both look great. They both look strong and I want to pull this one out of a pot and see how they compare. These came out of the ground and ah, it's a little stuck. There we go. This one came out of a pot. Now they have very, very different looking roots and I'm not going to shake the dirt off of this. I'm going to leave it here just to kind of preserve my experiment of doing them in pots versus in the ground. But you can see this one's in the ground and I'm going to just say that the one in the pot has much more extensive roots, at least the little fine hair roots. It looks like it has much more extensive roots than the ones that came straight out of the ground. So that's worth noting. And uh, when I pot these up, I will definitely note which ones grew in pots versus which ones grew in the ground so we can see which ones do better for next spring. I got all of those peonies dug and I've placed them out here on the table and there are wow here a hawk going crazy anyway there are 43 or 44 of them that I dug that look like they'll make viable plants a couple of them looked awful and I just threw them out a couple of them I destroyed trying to dig them out but here's what was left we'll get these potted up I am potting these peonies that I dug up out of the ground into one and a half gallon pots and just to Come get a close look at that. You can see all the next year's growth here, here. There's a little bit more down here under this side. I just uh, sit it in here. I don't care anything at all about all this green. In fact, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut all of that off anyway. And you just uh, cover it up and put that new growth, next year's growth, just an inch or two under the potting soil. Just like pot pretty much anything else and I'm gonna cut the tops off these because these are really done growing this year. Then you expand whatever time we have left in the growing season, just settling in, hopefully developing roots so they'll flush out nicely next spring. So we'll get them potted up, add a scoop of fertilizer, a tablespoon of fertilizer per pot, maybe a table and a half, and we'll go sit them down over here. So I got all these fertilized and watered, potted up, and now done with them. There are 43 of them, and my hope is, of course, that all of these come out next spring and hopefully we won't lose a bunch of them over winter and the only thing left to do now is just see how these compare to the ones that I planted in pots last year and that have just left alone and they're still there so the final update of this experiment won't come until oh six months or so from now when we see these flushing out in the spring and seeing if these look better or if the ones that we potted and grew in pots look better and only time of course will tell. So if you're interested in backyard nursery and learning how to grow plants, how to sell plants from your backyard in a very simple and fun way that you can do with your family on your own time, check out some more of my videos. Here's an example of a couple of them right here. Hope you'll watch, hope you'll subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. I love all of you, and I hope you're having a great day.